Alright guys, welcome back to the solo profile, so today's video is going to be focused around making money as a new player in Hypixel Skyblock. As you guys probably know, I'm very poor on this profile, but there's actually a bunch of really good ways to make money when you have basically nothing. By the end of this video, I should have quite a lot of coins, so I can buy a better weapon and some talismans next episode, so it should be pretty good. <laughs> So I'm just going to start off this video with the fastest money making method out there and it's called merchant flipping. If you guys don't already know what this is, it's basically where you buy certain items from the NPCs that are scattered around the hub, specifically items that are quite high in demand or are like quite hard to get. And basically all you have to do is just sell it to the NPC and you'll make a huge profit margin depending on like which item you sell. The best demonstration is if I just go to the builder right here and buy myself some packed ice and also just regular ice. From the merchant, regular ice costs 1 coin each and if I sell it back to the NPC it sells for 4.6 six coins each. But the way to get even more profit out of this is by clicking on the item that you want to sell and creating a sell offer and just using the best offer minus 0.1. And this can give you like one extra coin per ice that you sell which adds up like to a huge amount in the end. So if I just did the same thing with my packed ice, I can sell this for 26.6k which is huge because I only spent like 1000 coins on it. The downside to this method is that you can only do it once every 24 hours because that's how long it takes for the shops to reset. But I'm just going to do a quick test on how much money it can actually make me. So I think I got about 10,000 coins from selling the rabbit's feet so i'll just take that out really quick and i'll be right back after i've sold all of these and i'll show you guys how much money i've actually made also to maximize the amount of money that you can make by doing this there are two extra tips so number one is to travel to the gold mine and speak to the iron forger and the gold forger because these guys sell discounted gold and iron and this is how you figure out which items are worth buying so you just have to go into the shop and find out how many coins it costs so a piece of oak wood costs five coins and if i just do this and create a sell offer it sells for 5.9 coins so these are definitely worth buying. And that's pretty much it, like the rest is really straightforward, so I'll be right back after I've sold everything. Okay, so the final result is 80,000 coins, which is definitely really good. This guy's just looking at me, wait, what's he gonna- He's holding a potato, that's kind of a big flex, he just threw it on the ground. Dude, contraband, I, I can't take it, I can't take it. Oh yeah, speaking of contraband, if I look in the auction right here, you guys can see that I have 121,000 coins. I auctioned these and people just completely overpaid, like this right here is good I think, the undead sword. In future I think I'm just gonna use buy it now so people literally can't like give me free coins. So I'm just gonna give this random dude like 110,000 coins so that I'm not cheating. Just accept it dude, there you go. You're welcome. Okay, so now it's time for method number two. So this one's a bit more of an experiment because I haven't actually tried it myself, but in theory it should work. So if you guys have watched any of the other episodes in the series, you'll know that I have a magnetic diamond pickaxe right here. This is enchanted with experience three and it also has the magnetic reforge, so I get a ton of extra experience when I'm mining with this thing. Now the money making method actually involves this because on the auction house, you guys can see, books actually sell for a huge amount of money because skybook players are unbelievably lazy. So as a new player, I'm just gonna take advantage of this demand and make a ton of money Money by selling first strike four books. As you guys can see, these things sell for 35k coins each. So I have a half lapis armor set right now, and what I'm gonna do is just quickly buy myself the top pieces. So let me just type in lapis. Okay, it seems like there's no lapis armor chest plates, so I'll get a lapis armor helmet for 4.5k right now. And I'm guessing I'm gonna have to win an auction for a chest plate, so let's do that really quickly. Oh, there's actually none on the auction house. What? Wait, how are there none on the auction house? That's crazy, dude. All right, well, I'm just gonna run rotten chest plate with lapis armor, and that's gonna increase my XP by 50% per piece. So this magnetic pickaxe increases the chance to drop double experience by 50%. So this is gonna give me more experience per ore, and this is gonna double that experience that I get. And the best thing about first strike four books is you can actually get these at level 30, so it's not even like I have to go mining for ages. It should only take me a couple of minutes and I can make 35k every single time I enchant that. And I can even sell the lapis that I mine for even more money, so I should be able to make a ton of money while doing this method. Again, I haven't really tried it out myself, so I don't know how OP it's going to be, but if everything goes to plan, this should be really good. So you can see how quickly I level up. I'm already at level 20 right now, and if I mine 1, I'm already halfway to 21. So let me see how many minutes it takes me to get to level 30, because it should take like 1 or 2. Okay, in 1 minute and 30 seconds, I already have 30 levels, so I can travel back to the hub now. I'm gonna sell the lapis that I just mined for 1.4k coins, and if I just break 2 books in my enchanting setup, it should be at exactly level 30. And now all I have to do is keep taking books in and out of the enchantment table until I get first strike 4. But if you use Lunar Client, you actually get this GUI right here where you can type in whichever enchant that you want. So I'm just gonna type in first strike and spam this, and it should stop me as soon as I get it, so I'm just gonna do this for a couple of seconds. And if I just enchant this, 
we now have a first strike four punch one book. Now having another enchantment on the book slightly lowers the value, so I'd recommend putting it at like the lowest price out of all of them. But you can see right here, this one's selling for 35k, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 32 and hope that someone buys it. I shall do 32,999. All right, there we go. So I'm hoping someone buys this in the next couple of minutes. And while it's on the auction house, I'm just gonna travel back to the lapis mines and do the exact same thing again. And we just got mining level 8, there we go. Yes dude, somebody just bought the book, okay. I just made 32,000 coins in like 4 minutes, that's actually so OP. This method should make you about 500,000 coins an hour, so it could genuinely be the best early game money making method. If you guys are going to try this out though, I definitely recommend trying different enchantments, because first strike might get really oversaturated and the price might go down. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing and spam the book until I get first strike 4. And there we go. Okay, it took quite a long time, <laughs> like, to get this one. And I got Looting 2 and Luck of the Sea 2. Okay, I'm hoping that won't affect how it sells. I mean, it didn't last time. I'll sell this one for 32,000. So, yeah, let's just hope that that sells. Also, if you guys are wondering why the price of that book is so high, it's because it costs 5 Enchanted Flint to craft each book, and you need 2 of them to make a first strike 4, so in total it costs 24k coins to craft, but Lapis Nons like me and Little River 11 can just completely finesse the system and obviously enchant it ourselves. And somebody bought the book, perfect. 152,000 coins already. Okay, I did not expect it to be this good. Actually, let me try out Critical 5, so if I just go into lowest price... Critical 5 is selling for 40,000 coins each. To get Critical 5, you need 44 levels, but honestly, that probably won't take much longer. I'm gonna time this as well, so I'll be right back as soon as I've got 44 levels. Wait, what? Admin Frozen has invited you to join the- What? <laughs> what? Mine level 9? I'm also so close to 44 levels, like, this was really quick. And after 4 minutes, we finally have 44 levels. So what I'm gonna do now is just place down 7 more bookshelves, so let's just do this. And now all I gotta do is just type in critical V and then just spam this. Okay, so what I didn't realize till now is that critical is ridiculously rare. So what I'm gonna do is try and get first strike four and critical. I think it's honestly better to stick with this because you can do it at level 30 and it's way quicker. So I'm just gonna enchant this really quick. If you do this at level 30, there's less of a chance to get like random enchants like this. I'm gonna try and sell this for 30k so somebody actually buys it because that is like kind of bad looking. And it's sold. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna collect this and we now have 180k coins. So yeah, there we go. I made over 100k in under 20 minutes. So I definitely recommend trying out that method. And now I'm just gonna move on to the next one. So this basically involves the repeating events that happen every three days. So there's the traveling zoo, the season of the Jerry, and also the spooky festival. And depending on how efficient you are, you can easily make a couple hundred thousand as like a brand new player. Okay, really quick before I continue, my new animated gold and rose gold capes are going to be released on the Lunar Client store in the next couple of days. If you guys want a chance to win both of these, I'm going to be giving away three of them before they're even released. All you have to do is follow me on Twitch, which is linked below, and comment your Minecraft username on this video. I'm going to be streaming some stuff for my next video right after I upload this, so you guys should come watch after this video. <laughs> So I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already, but the Jerry event happens every 5 days or so. And the reason why this is so good for making money is because you can collect the presents that are scattered around the map and then sell each for like something like 5k coins. So if you collect all 20, you can get an easy 100k. And the way I'm going to track down all of these presents really quickly is speaking to this Gulliver NPC. And basically if you just do the chicken race like twice I think, he gives you a gift compass that directs you to all of the gifts that are like currently on the map because they spawn in different locations each time. And now I can claim the gift compass, there we go. If I do it one more time, I'm pretty sure I can get the talisman. Yes dude, let's go. So now I have all of these gifts, what I'm gonna do is buy a ton of ice from here because it's actually discounted from the like merchants that you can find in the hub. And I'm gonna save the gifts till the price goes back up, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sell this packed ice for like 24k. There we go. And once you have all 20, if you just run to the bazaar and sell these, you can make Dude, 128k? That's actually crazy. For like 5 minutes, that's really good. I can also claim the lapis that I sold from like mining. So I now have 191k and after that sells, I should be at like 300. Actually, I'm just gonna sell these instantly because the price doesn't really go down much. Dude, I have 367k coins. Alright, that's actually really good. So the final early game money making method for new players is foraging. This is basically where you brew speed and haste and you run to the park and just break logs with an efficiency 5 gold axe. And you can easily make a couple hundred thousand coins an hour if you break spruce or birchwood because those sell for a huge amount. Now I've actually done some foraging already but I didn't really like the recordings so I'm just going to show you guys a quick recap of what I did. So the first thing that I needed to do was unlock the haste potion recipe which is in the coal collection. So I went down to the coal mines which are just over here and mined 250 coal with this fortune 3 pickaxe which took like 5 minutes. 
Then I just bought all of the resources that I need to make haste 3, speed 5, and jump boost 3. Then I enchanted a golden axe with efficiency 5 and telekinesis 1 so that I could insta break all of the logs. And then I also bought a common monkey pet from the traveling zoo event that was happening right here. It cost me 10,000 coins and a stack of acacia logs, which is really cheap. Then I basically just broke trees for like 17 minutes until my potions ran out. And to end off the session, I put my monkey pet in the cat NPC, and as you can see right here, it's ready for pickup. And basically what this NPC does is it upgrades the rarity of your pet by 1 level, so as you can see now, I have myself an uncommon monkey. Oh yeah, I also put a common foraging boost on the pet as well, so it gains plus 20% XP whenever I break a tree. So just as a quick demonstration of how much money you can actually make, even when you're only foraging level 13, I'm going to use one set of potions in the hub right here to break some oak logs. But the best thing about this method is that you can increase your damage by just breaking logs, because your foraging skill increases your strength. So it actually helps you progress in the game in a ton of other areas, while also just earning you a ton of money, so it's a really good method. Alright, I just leveled up to Foraging 14, so I have a 56% chance to get double logs, plus 1 strength, and also 1.2k coins, so that's pretty good. Dude, I finally got the enchanted oak recipe. Okay, my inventory was literally just about to fill up. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention, the reason why Jump Boost 3 is so good for foraging is because there's this like elevated area where there's a ton of logs and they're kind of hard to get to. But if you have Jump Boost 3, you can just jump up here and mine all of it really quickly and then just go straight back down. So it's definitely worth getting in my opinion. Dude, I just realized I didn't have my monkey pet equipped this entire time. Dude, I must have missed out on so many logs and like so much taming XP. That's actually kind of unfortunate. Taming level 11, okay, we get plus 1 pet lock and 11% extra pet XP. Foraging level 15, that's gonna give me even more logs per minute, so I'm gonna get a ton of money now. And my potions just ran out, so... In total I have 57 enchanted oak wood, and let's just see how much this sells for. 55k, alright, that's really good. So if you guys did that 4 times over in an hour, and your foraging level is 15, you can make 200k coins by just breaking oak wood. Keep in mind that it scales up as you increase your foraging levels, so if I was like foraging level 20, that would probably be like 75k. And my sell offer was filled. Okay, let me just claim this, and we now have 426,000 coins. Dude, that is genuinely so crazy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to end off this video is convert my pet to an item again, and I'm gonna put my monkey in the daycare again, and upgrade it to a rare, because the rare level of the monkey is so OP. It basically just gives you more logs, and also gives you extra speed as well, so I'm just gonna upgrade this really quick, and by next episode, it should be rare, and I can use it to make even more money, so. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, then definitely leave a like down below. I've been super busy recently, but I want to be way more consistent with the uploads on this series, so to kick it all off, you guys should leave any type of engagement, like a like or a comment. Also, thank you guys for 200k subscribers in advance, and yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace. <laughs>